Well, hello there. I have some things that I need to get done around the house today or that I would like to get done around the house. We'll see if we get to them. First on the docket is to clean the fridge out. It is gross. It's like real gross. So we'll see how far we get with that. And then, oh, oh, the counter by the fridge, it's a mess. Basically my whole kitchen is a mess. It's fine, it's my mess. I need to clean it up. I made a bunch of Halloween treats a while ago and <laughs> now's about that time to uh, take care of the rest of it. Laundry, baby's spitting up on everything. So you know laundry needs to get done. Oh, I found this breakfast on Pinterest. Yeah. Yeah, I'm needing some real carbs. Carbs and sugar for breakfast. Anyone else in for that? I'm down. So I wanna make that dinner I'll probably share with you. Maybe I'll meal plan and get my life together. Is it time for that? Time to get your life together. I don't think I'm ready for that yet, but we can try. Maybe just like meal plan with what I have around the house. That might work too. And then who the heck knows what else. So let's just start. And the place I'm going to begin is my fridge. Holy cannoli, this thing needed a lot of attention. And I was up for the challenge. <laughs> this fridge was full of, okay, so I decided, well, you need to see a proper before. Things are just shoved in there. A lot of uh, platters, like food that I made before I gave birth. And that was like my uh, benchmark to know, is this good, is this not good? When did I make this? When was this bought kind of thing? Um, because at this point when I filmed, I think I was like a week and a half postpartum and food just doesn't last long. Oh, sa sadness, sadness. I forgot to slow that clip down. Those were the brownies, the best brownies. Remember the vlog I made those in? Yeah, it's been like a month. <laughs> They were still in there. The pumpkin dump cake was still in there. The brownies, there were still a little bit left. And my heart is still kind of sad about not finishing those. But also probably for the best because my thighs, you know. <laughs> so I just, I love brownies so much. I don't, oh man, you know what brownies are really good? Let me think. The Publix brownies, if you, okay, first of all, homemade is the best, obviously. Ina Garden has a great recipe that I've made. The brownie frosting recipe that I shared with you, like in whatever previous vlog that I made those brownies in, divine, absolutely smashing. Is that what the kids say these days? No, they say something else. I don't know. I'll have to ask my kids. They're trendy. They're more trendy than I am. But Publix has some really good ones. If you're not in the mood to make any, they're like fudgy and they have frosting. Oh, I haven't had those in a long time. Maybe it's time for me to buy some. Man, what's your what's your go to dessert? I want to know. I'll, I'll buy it. I'll eat it for you. <laughs> OK, I'm in the mood for some sugar, carbs and sugar. That's what I'm craving. Uh, breastfeeding cravings, I feel like are just as bad as, uh, well, for me, they're like worse than pregnancy cravings. Um, because during pregnancy, I just, I'm, I'm so sick most of the time that I can't really indulge. Um, I mean, obviously I indulge a ton because I gain a lot of weight, but that's more like toward the end of my pregnancy. I digress. Uh, what the heck is in my fringe. I couldn't get that drawer to open and close. It was like stuck for some reason. I don't know. It was a conspiracy. And so I finally got it out and found all of this underneath it. And I said, what the heck? Oh, I don't even know. How does stuff get under the drawer? I don't understand. It's a bunch of crumbs, bunch of crap. But thankfully I pulled it out. I, initially when I went to clean the fridge, I was just going to do a good enough cleaning, just a real quick wipe down. And then it turned into, well, I'm here, so I might as well do more. The baby is sleeping at this point. I think maybe um, Alex was holding the baby. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Whatever point, the baby was content, whatever was happening. So I said, okay, I guess I have a little bit more time to clean this properly. I was trying to get a good after shot, but the camera kept getting blurry. Like that's how white it is. Just kept blinding the camera, I guess. But anyway, it's clean. Hallelujah. And then I started wiping down the shelves, realizing, oh, that third shelf, something spilled. Actually, this second shelf, first of all, has a big old butter sticker. It's not even a sticker. So the butter 
it's like a cardboard packaging, cardboard, paper, I don't know, one in the same. And somehow it like stuck to this. I don't know if a moisture got to it, it got wet, I don't know. So I had to scrub that off and I was feeling pretty good about my efforts here. And then I got to the third tier of the fridge and I just couldn't leave it. Oh, there's a little wink for you. A little, you know, thanks for doing your job, sponge. Appreciate you. That's what the sponge was saying to me too. Appreciate you. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So anyway, I got to this one. The drawers needed to be washed out. Just, uh, I really should have taken all those pickles and stuff out and done a proper job. But then I thought, oh, if I do that, then I'm going to have to get the condiments out of the door and I'm just not in the mood, you know? So anyway, this was the thing that got me. And last time I cleaned this, it just popped right out. Yeah. Um, oh, see, yeah, Alex is, doesn't have, is not holding the baby. So the baby must have been content uh, sleeping. Anyway, so I couldn't get this out, asked for Alex's help, and he got it. He said, it's stuck. And I was like, stuck on what? Uh, grossness is what it was stuck on. So he got it out. He took it to the bathtub to give it a nice rinse down. And um, I cleaned the rest of this thing, and he put it back together for me. And it is just supposed to pop out, but it was like crusted <laughs> with the really nasty stuff. So, um, yeah, it feels good to have a clean fridge. You know, I feel like last time I cleaned the fridge out and just did a wipe down, there was a little spillage down there and I just turned a blind eye to it, you know, because sometimes you just, I can only do what I can do. And sometimes it's just good enough and, you know, you don't have time to really deep clean. But apparently today I made time and the fridge feels so good oh my gosh I love a good like tidy fridge it hardly ever happens over here but it is really nice to look at but now I you know I'm thinking oh man I need to go grocery shopping for some produce which I do because I was packing the kids lunches this morning thinking um okay I usually I give them the option what kind of uh you know fruit would you like in your lunch and I'll list off what we have <laughs> this morning. I said, okay, we have strawberries. <laughs> and that was it because Alex had stopped at the store and gotten strawberries. Ooh, fresh produce. My mouth is salivating for it right now, as a matter of fact. Actually, I should probably drink some water. My water, ooh, I might have some right here. You should get some too. Mmm, delicious. Purify those souls. Yeah, I need to hydrate more often. Okay, anyway feeling good, looking good, looking real fresh. And I struggled to get this bottom drawer in. I don't think I've ever taken it out. Yeah, that makes sense. I never, I've never taken it out. That's why the underneath was so dang grody and nasty. So I couldn't figure it out. So I finally just like stopped looking and tried not to, I tried to like do it without effort and it just slid right in. So I don't know if it's in properly, but it seems like that's good enough. It, it goes in and out. So yeah, there we go. Got it in. <laughs> Finagled my way. And now I'm just loading up the rest of it, going through the cheeses, making sure everything's good. Does Velveeta cheese expire? There was no expiration date on that. I did put it back in the fridge, but with like a question mark, you know? I, I don't buy that stuff very often. I used half of it for some kind of recipe. I don't even remember what I made, but I still have half of it left, and I was going to make this like... Um, sausage uh, dip with it, like a salsa style dip. Maybe I'll do that this weekend for football, uh, for like a football appetizer. That sounds good, right? But also Velveeta cheese is like weird. It's weird. We can agree on that. What else can you make with Velveeta cheese? I made Velveeta fudge before. The best fudge I've ever made. Okay. I'm not joking. I'm not kidding. Don't sleep on the Velveeta fudge. Just make some. I made it for Christmas one year. Never look back. Best fudge, easiest fudge, most delicious fudge. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even a huge fudge fan, but Alex loved it and it was easy to make. All right. So here's the after of the fridge and uh, it feels good. Not going to lie. It's not fully stocked, but it feels good. And then, you know, you turn to your left and see all the mess that you have to clean <laughs> on the counter. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, OK, that's that's how I freed up so much space in the fridge. <laughs> So now I'm just putting lunch together, grab some leftovers from said refrigerator and man, leftovers. It's just so good. Something about leftovers. 
I love them. I know some people refuse to eat leftovers. Yeah, I know. Can you believe there are people like that? Not me. If you have leftovers and you don't want them, I'll take them. <laughs> if you're at a restaurant, some people don't take their leftovers. Can you even fathom? I can't. I'll take those home. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not above it. So here's lunch that I threw together for Alex and I. It doesn't look like much, but I promise you it is delicious. It's the sweet pulled pork enchiladas that I made a crock pot meal out of. So the crock pot meal is just like the pulled pork that we had one night with like rice and I don't know, broccoli and who the heck knows, I don't remember. But that was nice because that was one night. And then the next night we had plenty of leftover pulled pork. We still have leftover pulled pork. And I made the enchiladas. You just need tortillas, wrap them up in, a little bit of green enchilada sauce, some cheese, and it's like a whole new meal. So it's, you know, you're eating basically the same thing, but it doesn't taste the same. I don't know, it kind of tastes the same. It's delicious. Alex and I just like it with some shred. So that's what we're gonna fill our bellies with. And boy, was it delicious. Oh, I could, I could eat that again. Yeah, and good thing because I have, I think, two more of those freezer meal sweet pulled pork <laughs> baggies in my freezer. This morning, I actually went to pull out a freezer meal and I said, Ugh, I'm like, I'm not feeling it, you know? <laughs> We've had a freezer meal, you know, every night for over a week and it's, there's only so many nights you can have lasagna, you know, <laughs> so many nights in a row, so many days that you can have the same thing over and over again. So I met that threshold this morning and I threw in another crock pot recipe that could be a freezer meal, but it was Mississippi chicken. I shared it on my Instagram and it's one of the easiest crock pot meals, but it hits every time. Oh, it slaps. Yeah, that's the slang. <laughs> that's the slang I was thinking of earlier. It slaps. Please let that be the last time I ever say that. <laughs> anyway, it is an easy one to throw together. I usually have all of the ingredients on hand and uh, it's pretty versatile. You can make it with chicken or meat, like a roast, um, and it like just melts. Mm, that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. So I'm excited about that. Little little change it up, little switch. Sure. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. Okay. Anyway, so as you can see, I've moved on to cleaning the kitchen and my kids and Alex have done such a great job while I'm postpartum and spending 900 hours a day nursing <laughs> the baby. Um, they've done a great job with tidying the place up and keeping everything nice, doing dishes and laundry and all that good stuff. But, you know, just I, I like to do those certain things I, they make me feel productive. They make me feel like, you know, a mom, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like to sit still a lot. So um, I just, I'm a busybody. It's a character flaw. I talked about it in my last video. It's fine. That's just how I am. And uh, stuff like this makes me happy, like getting in a mother's touch cleaning on the kitchen because that's what this place really needed, like a nice deep clean. Uh, because as you can tell, we've spent a lot of time in the kitchen today and it's still not over because I have the disaster of a corner to tidy up and I tackle a junk drawer. So I actually got a lot done in the kitchen today and I was so happy about it because it just needed it. You know, when there's like crust on the counters and you're just like, oh gosh, okay, this place needs my attention. And I was happy to give it. The kitchen is the heart of the home. If you're eating, it's getting dirty and that's something to be thankful for. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing and it feels good. And hey, you know what I just got in the mail? I just opened it up. Actually, Alex opened it up and then left the package by my computer. And I just took it out of the package, pleasantly surprised. It was supposed to be here yesterday, but don't you love how Amazon like lies to us these days? I don't know if this happens with you, but I feel like every time I order something off Amazon, it's like, oh, it'll be expected you know, on this day or this time or whatever. And it's always a day late these days, which is fine because like really same day or next day delivery is very fast. In this case, having to wait two days. Do you remember like, you know, just a few years ago having to wait a week? <laughs> I was trying to explain to my daughters uh, the other day. I don't know what they were talking about, but what the conversation was about. But I said, 
back in our day, we didn't even have Amazon. We didn't have Google. (laughs) And if you wanted to order something, you did it like as a scene on TV product and you had to wait two weeks (laughs) and you had to pay like $15.95 shipping and handling and you know, it was a whole to do. So if you wanted something and now, gosh, aren't we just so privileged to just hop on Amazon and be like, oh, buy, buy now. And then it's here the same day. It's insane. It's insane. But um, all of that to say, and I didn't even tell you what I bought, which now the hype is up. I bought Expo wet erase markers. Finally, it's on my list of things to buy for quite some time now because I want to. I did want a meal plan in this video, uh, but you know the markers never never came in, so <laughs> that's my excuse. I'll do it next video, maybe. I'll have to go on Pinterest and find some dinner inspiration because that's what I really need. Some dinner inspiration. Simple, simple is key these days. Uh, Yeah, anyway, excited to use these markers too. Okay, at first glance, gosh, that took forever. (laughs) At first glance, you might think, oh, okay, it's a tidy kitchen. And then uh, your eye wanders into this corner over here that we need to take care of. And when I say we, I mean I. I really need to tackle this, but first, every time I'm like putting something away, I don't know if you can really tell, but the fridge is just gross. And I feel like I just cleaned it, but you know, It's a high traffic area. Everyone wants food and everyone has handprints. So I have my, um, what is this? E-cloth, is that what they're called? All you need is water to clean with this thing. And then I have the polishing rag. And I, is this for stainless steel? Oh gosh, see, I thought I knew what I was doing. I don't really know what side to use yet. I'm still trying to figure this thing out. So I, you know, I think this thing works pretty well. I've only used it a handful of times, so I'm still still working out the kinks, still trying to figure out the best course of action. Maybe one panel at a time, but I just did two, so, you know, don't listen to anything I say. Wax on, wax off kind of thing. I feel like it's a little bit of cardio too, it gets your heart rate up. <laughs> but isn't that what cleaning is? A little workout, a little way to get your body moving. Everyone can use a little bit more of that, right? Okay. I feel like that looks better than what it did, but it certainly doesn't look worse. I'm just gonna do the freezer real quick. There's nothing like, okay, so I was reading something the other day and it was saying how when people come over your house, it's the things that they notice that you may not. And it's like the fridge handle. If you have kids, that was the whole point of the, the article. If you have kids, The dirty things that other people notice that you might not is like dirty fridge handles. Like where did I even find this? I don't even know what I was searching for, but it's true. Like kids have sticky hands and I don't know why, but fridge handles and I've, I've been to other people's houses with sticky fridge handles. So I know exactly what they're talking about. And I'm sure people have come to mind thinking, man, that fridge handle is gross. So not today though. Not today. Can you kind of see it drying, doing its thing? Okay, well, I don't know if you can really tell, but I certainly can. It does look a lot better. It looks nice. I guess I should, since I have it out, I should probably do my dishwasher too. This thing, luckily, doesn't have a handle. That was on purpose. <laughs> we, we picked that out on purpose. I mean, it kind of does, you know, but you get what I'm saying. It's the little details I have found that around my house, like as I'm just sitting there trying to do nothing, <laughs> that I see, I'm gonna try to use the um, the rough part and see if that helps a little bit, get like the dirt and grime off. Anyway, I've noticed like sitting still, I noticed my dirty walls and like the dirty doors and just the little dirty things that I don't typically notice when I'm zoom, zoom, zooming around. So I'm gonna, do my best to try to tackle those in the upcoming days. And then of course I still have those really big messes too, like my closet, that's a big one. I definitely don't think I'll have time for that today because the kids are almost out of school and I have to, um, you know, since we've got so many kids, (laughs) one of them has a track meet and then the other ones have gymnastics. So you're gonna have to split up and separate. What's the term when you, um, when you, do certain things and tackle different things. Separate and 
divide and conquer. Oh gosh, my brain works sometimes, not all the time. That doesn't look that great, but whatever. Looks better than it did. Well, this has become my dumping ground. So, um, now that the rest of my kitchen is tidy, I'm gonna make a mess of it. <laughs> uh, I have to wash these. I made the kids' lunches this morning, little quesadillas. I'm trying to put together a what's for lunch video. I don't, I'm not sure if it will ever happen, but I'm trying. Um, <laughs> this obviously needs to get cleaned and put away. Bunch of random stuff needs to be, just, you know, nothing belongs here. Ooh, M&Ms, don't mind if I do, okay? How many are left? Mmm, perfect. Also, candy corn. You guys, what have I been thinking? I love these things. And if I get to it, I would like to organize this because every time I open it, I don't, I don't even know what's in this drawer. I don't know what its purpose is. It's like a second junk drawer and I hate it. I'm happy that I have it when I need to hide stuff, so. <laughs> I guess it serves a purpose. But that's only if I have time, okay? This is a hot zone, and I need to take care of this first. Mandarin oranges, man. One more thing I gotta put in the fridge. You know what I mean. Okay, quick and dirty is what I'm doing. I didn't even take them out of the box, just put the whole box in the fridge. Those are stale, this is garbage, this is medicine. Ooh, sprinkies and frosting and ooh, a little banana. Do you want? Certainly an Alex purchase because I never buy these little things. Are they sweeter? I don't know. Okay, cool. Look, more garbage. I don't even know when this popcorn is popped. It's gross. I don't know why I keep eating it too. This was left out. Still don't know what that goes to. Dirty. Okay, I guess I can put the Halloween stuff up here until Halloween is over. These cookies, um, they're not it. But these are. <laughs> Those from the kids too. Cauldrons. Who's gonna bet on whether or not those actually find their way to the Halloween bin when the season is over? Is this Alex's wedding ring? Why? Why? Why is it out here? I'll never know. <laughs> oh look, a broken camera. Why? <laughs> oh you guys, there's something wrong with me, paint. Okay, happy to report. Just had that crock pot meal. <laughs> Just sat down for dinner with the family and it was a hit, as it always is. Did I explain that it's a delicious meal? A succulent meal? Okay. Uh, trying to nurse the baby while I do a voiceover. This is so fun. There we go. Good stuff happening right here. Finally tackling this pile of paperwork. Do you have a pile of paperwork in your house? I believe these are called hot zones, hot spots, fire, fire something. I don't know. Something like that. I'm pretty sure a hot zone. Is that the right term? Who knows? If it's not, I just coined a new one. Never to be used by anyone <laughs> ever. Uh, so this is where piles of paperwork seem to uh, just pile up. And just like that, it's off the counter. Hey. <laughs> and I just realized the glory and the purpose of that drawer, <laughs> right? Uh, I, I do end up going through it. But I feel like in our last house, we had the same spot. It's like behind the fridge, so it's kind of out of sight. And that's just where stuff accumulates where, oh, I don't know what to do with this right now. So I'm just going to throw it here to deal with it later. And later happens to be right now for me dealing with it. So I'm glad I got to tackle it. Well, I don't think I've seen this space look good, look this good in quite some time. I'm actually going to change out this board. I didn't know what to do with my last ultrasound photo. The last one, I think it was 40 weeks, 40 weeks, three days or something like that. All right, well, that was fun strolling down memory lane. All right, let's see, it is fall but it's also like almost Halloween. I know they have a pumpkin board or Halloween. Let's see. I love this thing, pumpkin board. I made that last last year. Oh, look at the turkey one. All right, nice and festive. Makes me happy. Cool. All right. Now what do I do with this? <laughs> I'll put it. Uh, put it in here, just for fun. <laughs> 
I'm ever looking for that, remind me. That's where I put it. <laughs> oh, and then the fruit bowl goes there too, just to fill up space, I guess. All right, well, I wasn't expecting this, but the baby is still sleeping, which is kind of a miracle. Uh, all right, so, well, okay, let's just do it. <laughs> It's just like a place to dump papers, and the kids still think this is where the scissors go. Can you tell them it is not where the scissors go? Oh, and this guy, I'm sorry. Every child comes over our house and opens this drawer. Don't touch him! I'm like, no, it's okay. <laughs> Hold up, man. There's two M&Ms in here. <gasps> Look, they're red and green. Oh, is that a sign? I'm ready for Christmas. Actually, you know what? I am 1,000% not ready for Christmas. You know how I know? Because every time someone talks about Christmas, I have such feelings of overwhelm. Like we just booked to go to uh, the zoo for like a boo zoo or whatever it's called, like for Halloween. And I just can't, I can't think about Christmas right now. I'm too overwhelmed. No, I haven't started shopping. No, I'm not ready to decorate. Don't ask me about it. <laughs> and you know another pet peeves? Um, like what is this? Where did this even come from? Who does it belong to? Yeah, don't ask me. Kids. Uh, I was gonna tell you another pet peeve. Oh, to-do lists around the whole house. That's my doing. Uh, looking for pens. We were looking for a pen this morning. <laughs> we had some very important paperwork to mail out and uh, couldn't find a pen. So that was real fun. Uh, so maybe I'll, I have pens. Where did they go? I have like a lot of pens, but can you fill out official documents with like pink, purple ink? <laughs> we needed a black pen. So remind me next time I'm out, I need a black pen. And, okay, I don't know where I was. We had a potty emergency. Um, pens, that's all I remember. Oh, mom, I need these, I need these, I need these. You need them so bad. You wanna put them in Eleanor's room? Thank you so much. All right, well these can go. Oh, another ultrasound photo. <laughs> Did you see that? All right, I wonder who this one was. Who was this little bean? I don't know, I can't read the date on that, but I just, I never know what to do with them, so I just hide them. All right, good to go. <laughs> like these things, really they can go in the garage with like the tools and stuff, but they could go in the other junk drawer. Okay, in the garage. Anything else? Go in the garage? No? Okay. That's you and Taylor? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's fun, huh? I have pig mouth. Yeah. And, and I, and, and there's ice cream there. There's ice cream there? Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, we should go back immediately. Trying to find something to contain the pens. Found it. Perfect fit. Can I wipe this thing down? I think it's like good enough, you know? Wow, this is really beautiful. That is beautiful. Why is all I have to say? There I am. <laughs> Why is this in my kitchen drawer? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure I figured out how that happened. Meredith likes to go through one of the drawers in my nightstand where I have all of my pictures and, uh, you know, sometimes memorabilia just finds its way around the house. So anyway, I am going through more of the paperwork and I had Alex put away his wedding ring and bring me my rings because I put my rings up when I was just gained too much weight during my pregnancy and got too swollen to wear them. And I thought, well, since you're going in the safe, will you get mine out? So he brought mine to me knelt down and proposed again. And <laughs> um, I can barely squeeze them on my sausage fingers, so there's that. They fit, but not great. Okay, hallelujah. How did that happen? We dealt with all the papers, we put, you know, important things where they belong, and uh, that's done. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how big of a relief it is to not look at that chaos anymore. All right, moving on to the next hot zone. And the next hot zone, apparently, is not a hot zone at all. Well, kind of the laundry is like the next thing that I'm going to tackle, but I thought, you know what, um, Alex had left at this point and my baby carrier, the one that I love and it's my favorite one, the only other one that I own at the moment and it's the Boppy Comfy Fit 
it is my favorite and I love it, but it was in the car with him. So I thought, you know what, let me try out this ring sling. Looked up a tutorial on YouTube, kind of figured it out. It wasn't hard since mine was already like put together, I guess. I don't know. There it is. It worked <laughs> for the time being. I think we've got it. I think we got it. Hands free is the way to be. <laughs> He just wants to nurse though. That's literally all he wants to do. Uh, but we need to do your laundry. Yeah. Oh honey, we need to do your laundry. Do you know why? You spit out so much. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Oh, honey, honey, honey. Just rest. Oh, my God. How do we nurse in a ring sling? Oh, my gosh. 20 minutes later, I had to shimmy him down a little bit. I think we finagled our way into nursing. So, hopefully, he'll be asleep before we know it. I um, grabbed all the laundry, except for, like, the bigger kids, the three older kids. So I need to throw that in uh, pronto. It's been like two seconds. He's already asleep. I think this boy needs a binky. <laughs> Just wants to comfort nurse all the time. All right, here we are in the laundry room. Here's an angle you don't see often. Hey. Uh, okay, well, it smells in here because I don't know why, dirty clothes and stuff. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna sort the laundry and get stuff in here that I need. I know needs to be cleaned. That's like his blankets and stuff. There's just spit up everywhere. <laughs> Cause he comfort nurses, and then it's like too much milk for his teeny tiny little stomach. So there's only one way it could go, you know? Life with one hand. I feel like I haven't done this in a while, even though I could probably let him go. I just, oh honey. Life with one hand. I haven't done this in a couple of years, but it's like riding a bike. <laughs> it also won't last forever. Sometimes I can rest and sit and nurse. A lot of times I can. But, you know, sometimes things need to get done, especially on a day like today where it's a busy day. Although I will say I have been enjoying the extra screen time that I'm getting <laughs> from like you know, nursing sessions and all that stuff, it's just sitting. I have been watching some makeup tutorials, hence my lovely eyeshadow today. Don't laugh. I'm laughing, so it's okay if you do too. But uh, I, I got inspired. <laughs> I don't even have an eyeshadow brush. I've been trying to find like a good show to watch. I just, I don't know, YouTube is fun. One day at a time. I need to fold a load of laundry in the dryer too, but I will do that when I have two hands. Maybe later today, maybe tomorrow, who knows? All right, I need to start on dinner early. I need to get that done because, you know, it's like life with a newborn. Yes, you wanna soak in all the newborn snuggles, but also when you have four other kids, it's like life just goes on. You know, so you gotta just jump right back into it the best you can. I feel like two hours have passed. Uh, so, <laughs> newborns are so, <laughs> okay, where was I? Newborns and toddlers, so demanding. I just put them down, we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, okay, I'm gathering ingredients for tonight's dinner. Creamy Italian sausage gnocchi soup. Need some Italian seasoning, can't make it with, can't make anything without it. White wine, don't have that. Uh, some chicken stock. All right, this better be good. Okay, this is almost everything that you're going to need. Uh, I just I say almost because I have sausage trying to thaw out in the sink right there. Uh, gnocchi, I just get mine packaged and uh, I don't know, it's convenient, it tastes fine, and not the best, not like my dad's, but you know, you work with what you have. Onion, uh, Italian seasoning, red, pepper flakes, red, what are these called? Yeah, red pepper flakes, 
or not if you don't want the heat. A couple cans of chicken broth. I might add a third can because it also calls for wine, so I might just put in some more chicken broth. Garlic, minced garlic, fresh if you have it. It always tastes better when it's fresh. Same with the perm, cheese, heavy whipping cream, and some spinach. So let's get this thing started. Let's get it started. Ah. See, this is why I need to meal plan because I knew I wanted to make this, but I didn't know, re I mean, I knew I was gonna make it today, but I kind of forgot, I guess. I don't know. Moral of the story, I didn't take my meat out to thaw, so now it's gonna take forever to like cook down. Whatever, we'll do our best. I almost forgot, you're supposed to add an onion. You're actually supposed to add an onion, carrots, celery, the, uh, the trio, right? But I don't want to. And also, I don't have those things. I ate the last of my celery with my buffalo chicken dip, and I don't like carrots in this soup, so I'm not gonna add them. Okay, add a little bit of garlic in here with some Italian seasoning. Just Oop, and then some salt and pepper, too, why not? This is where you add your white wine, but I'm gonna just do chicken broth, four cups. Yeah, I'm gonna get another can. All right, I added one more can. Uh, let this simmer for 10 minutes. Well, it's been boiling for a little bit and I feel like that's good enough. I'm gonna add a little bit of red pepper flakes in there. Three quarters of a cup of double cream. I don't know, I just got heavy whipping cream. I'm just gonna dump a bunch in. And then dump the gnocchi in and let this cook. It cooks pretty fast, just a couple of minutes. You can make this with chicken too. I feel like I've made this with chicken before. Uh, by the way, the gnocchi's our favorite part, so I double up on that mess. I'm gonna try to crumble it a little bit. Oh gosh, it's hot. Okay, let that cook for like, I don't know, four minutes. I'm just gonna chop up a couple handfuls of spinach. This will wilt down to basically nothing. Um, but I find that if I cut it, it's much easier to eat that way, so. Plus my kids can't like pick it out, you know? <laughs> you can also do kale. I feel like that fares better in soups because it's more hearty. Okay, I think the gnocchi is done. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I'm just gonna add some Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna turn the heat off too. And then I'm gonna toss the spinach in. And that's it, dinner is served. I feel like I've made this as a freezer meal before, but with chicken, like the, uh, the Olive Garden copycat one. And that was really good, even as a freezer meal. Okay, this was just as good as the Olive Garden copycat chicken gnocchi soup. Although I will say, even at Olive Garden, I don't like the carrots in the soup. So when I make it, I leave them out. So that's what I would recommend to you if you're making this soup. It tastes delicious, sausage, chicken, whatever the heck you use. It's soup, man, just throw stuff into a pot. It tastes good. Okay, let it cool a little bit. Oh my gosh, I just had a bite. This is so delicious. It looks a lot creamier now, a lot dreamier. Look at this beauty. She's a model, she's in vogue, she's on the runway. I don't know, she's in print. Here we go. <laughs> bon appetit. Okay, time to switch the laundry over. I am start a new load. I'm trying to stay on top of things over here. So I guess I should fold this crap. And you know what I was thinking? Sometimes when I'm folding laundry, uh, well, most of the time, sometimes I don't listen to anything. And, and I kind of like the quiet and peace of that too. But anyway, most of the time I uh, watch something and Fall TV has started up again. Grey's Anatomy, Station 19. Not that I like pay attention. The past couple uh, seasons of Grey's Anatomy have been the worst. But is there any fall TV that you guys like to watch? Honestly, Bachelor in Paradise. That's my jam. <laughs> That's the crap TV that I live for, I tell you. We all have our thing. That's what I tell my husband. Just let me have it. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I know it's garbage. Hey, you know what else I watch that's garbage? Kind of garbage. I don't know if this is good. It's definitely not worse than Bachelor in Paradise, but it's Dancing with the Stars. Love that. Most of the time, I don't know who any of the stars are, and I definitely know the dancers because I've been watching for, I guess, a, a few years now, three, three years or so. So uh, it's always interesting. <laughs> I'm like, which one's the star? 
I don't know. I know the dancers more. I'm trying to think what else I watched. That's pretty much it. Uh, Alex and I watch Golden Girls sometimes at night. That hasn't happened in a while. We try. Oh, you know what we watched the other night? Top Gun. The second one. Yeah. Oh, gosh. So much better than the second Hocus Pocus. Uh, Top Gun was insane, but way better than the original, than the first. I mean, better or different. Definitely different. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I don't watch a lot of movies, so that says a lot. Okay, now I'm going to get started on the French toast roll-ups for breakfast. Uh, I'm going to make them now, and maybe they'll just be dessert. I'm not really sure what to do. Three tablespoons of butter. Melt this in the microwave. Okay, to the melted butter, I'm going to add three tablespoons of white sugar. And that's all it takes for something to taste good for me. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Heaping, okay. Here's the good stuff. One tablespoon of cinnamon, yeah. And then mix it together until it's nice and smooth. And boy, I feel like I could eat this with a spoon. I also feel like I should have doubled this recipe, but it's probably best if I didn't. That I didn't. I already hate this recipe because I'm dirtying more than one dish. Two eggs and a quarter cup of milk. All right, and then I'm just gonna whisk these together. Here you go, you mix it. Okay. Another bowl to dirty two tablespoons of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Give that a mix. Oh, I never cut the crust off bread, but here we are. You can save the crust and make like breadcrumbs and stuff, but I'm not going to do oh. that. I also feel like these pieces of bread are really little. Um, so I would recommend to get better quality bread. <laughs> I don't know. This is like the cheapest bread, I think. I don't buy white bread a lot, you know? So it didn't spread out very much. And I think I put way too much filling in it because, I mean, listen, it was delicious, but it was a lot of filling. So that would be my recommendation. More slices, less filling. And, uh... It's good, it's good stuff. Now you just dip the roll in the egg mixture and then fry it in some more butter. It's like French toast, but more complicated. Should have just made some French toast. <laughs> All right, they're looking good. They're starting to smell good. I don't like a soggy French toast. So I'm gonna repeat this process. Oh crap, I almost forgot. I think right when it's done, you're supposed to sprinkle it with uh, cinnamon and sugar mixture. My bowl isn't big enough and you better believe I'm not pulling out another bowl. Well, it's still a little buttery. So the cinnamon and sugar kind of sticks to it. Also, not worth the time commitment. You know what I mean? Man, these things are burning my fingers. This is like a one person portion. It took me way too long. Not ideal for a large family. <laughs> I'll just say that. Well, final thoughts, it looks better on Pinterest is all I'm going to say. Second thing, way too much egg mixture. One egg will suffice. And cinnamon sugar mixture. I mean, I didn't do it on these, but again, way too much. Let's see if it's worth the hype. <laughs> I mean, really, I'm the only one hyping it up for myself. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. This is a dessert for sure. You could serve it with syrup, but I don't like syrup. It's really good. I'm so hungry. Not worth the time and effort. Maybe if you have nothing else to do. <laughs> because it is delicious. I'd eat it. If you made it for me, I'd eat it. And say thank you. Okay, I should probably stop at this point. Maybe it is worth it. <laughs> Definitely not a breakfast. There's so much sugar in this thing. I can feel my cavities starting to form. I gotta walk away. I need some water. Purify my soul. Okay, I've been trying to clean as I go. Because a clean kitchen begets a clean kitchen is baguettes the <laughs> word I'm trying to use I don't know anyway feels good okay so I have been like up and down all around with the baby trying to put him down and then he uh, of course just wants to nurse and comfort nurse and suckle so you know he just loves me so much so we have a little bouncer for him but the kids uh, drained the battery before he was even born <laughs> the bouncer. Meredith would put like her toy dolls in it or whatever. 
So I need to replace the batteries in that. Will I do it? Uh, time will tell, probably not. Maybe Alex will, but <laughs> again, who knows? So anyway, I have been looking for a swing secondhand because Alex tried to put our swing together that we stored in the attic since that we've had since Avelina was born. So it's been through four of our kids and it is broken. I'm not really sure what was wrong with it. I, oh, the motor. I don't think the motor worked anymore. I wouldn't swing, which is, it renders it useless. He tried to fix it to no avail. So I have been trying to find one secondhand, a swing. I don't know. Does no one want to sell one? I don't know. They're pretty pricey on Amazon. I almost ordered one this morning just because it said it would be here uh, by this afternoon. <laughs> I didn't order it. Oh wait, I did order one. Oh, I did. It wasn't off Amazon though. I looked at Target. It was $50 less than what Amazon was trying to um, sell it for. So I bought it on Target. Okay, cool. So I did buy one. <laughs> I was gonna like scroll through and buy one with you. But good good news. Oh, hey, I bought a swing, so maybe next time we hang out, I'll put that together. Actually, probably not next time, the time after that, because now that I'm remembering and my brain kind of works, it won't be here for a week and a half, which is, will we survive? Uh, again, time will tell. So it's weird to know that that's the last baby swing I'm going to buy, but we will have a swing soon. I feel like all my kids really loved this swing, except for Avelina. She only wanted my arms. This one might be the same way. Anyway, was that everything on our to-do list? I still have some laundry to do. I'm gonna check the dryer. I'm looking at my list now. Uh, I didn't meal plan. Inaudible mumbling. I don't know, what am I gonna say about that? All right, back to laundry. You know it's never ending. I actually uh, put all these clothes in piles and didn't bring them to the appropriate bedrooms. The children can do that, they can handle that. And I think there's one more load in the dryer. Actually, I threw another load in the wash today. If you're wearing clothes, you're doing laundry, right? One way to look at it. Actually, I had to wash a, a bathroom rug today. Hmm. Yeah, that's a story that I won't tell. <laughs> but it's always something. But uh, yeah, laundry, so much fun. Thanks for hanging out with me while I get it done. Because, you know, it's got to get done. So I hope I kept you company too while you did yours. Okay, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed your time. Glad I was able to get some stuff done around the house with you today. Thanks for keeping me company. If you want to, subscribe. Put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.